Yes, the title's entirely real. Today, I'm covering something I've secretly been aware of and investigating behind the scenes for quite a while now. But this is the recently concluded story of Tales Token, a scam that got so big and swallowed in so many that it amassed a market cap of over $24 million before it all collapsed and fell to the ground. It would be a massive scam for any community, but one so big that it's easily the biggest the Sonic community has had ever. In fact, looking at it, it's possibly the biggest scam in the entire gaming community. Well, that is unless you count Sonic Colors Ultimate. But in actuality, I first got wind of this a bit before the actual scam was properly executed, and of all places, it was during the Super Bowl commercial for Sonic Movie 2. My discovery of this all stemmed from an insignificant joke I made on Twitter about something I made up called Tails Coin. And oh boy, did it unfold quickly, as I discovered my joke was actually not a joke at all, and that there was in fact a massive web of people who had bought into this Tails token with the idea that Sonic Movie 2 was going to send them to the moon. And just by the word scam alone, you can probably assume this was more of a journey to the center of the earth than it was in Apollo 13. In fact, the scam artist got so greedy with the early success of Tails token that he attempted to launch a whole line of quote, Sega Game Alliance tokens, with Tails just being the beginning. The guy behind this, who I definitely am going to cover, even went as far as to make a Knuckles and Super Sonic one, and it just all spiraled downhill from there. Now, the best part about this video is I'm not covering this retroactively or as an outsider. No, sir. The second I got a whiff of this in 2022, I knew disaster was ensuing, and as the number one source of Sonic news, I also knew the odds nobody else would cover this was frankly kinda high. However, I honestly had no clue it would get 24 million dollars bad. So I immediately got my hands dirty and went to the ground floor to start researching and investigating any clues of who the scam artist behind this was is for this to be pulled off so well, it had to be someone of significance. Otherwise, no one would hear of or even believe in this project and it'd make next to no money. But the reason I come at you with this coverage today is because I now have a conclusion to this story with a bit of info on who is behind the scenes running it. Something that the feds are going to be finding very useful as they also have been doing some investigating alongside me. I should make it clear though, not with me. I'm not associated it in any way. So this is going to be a huge story to cover, but before I bust this case open like a fat nut, I can't believe I said that. I can only make these big investigative type Sonic videos with the funding of today's sponsor. Here's a familiar scene. You're getting ready to head out and your headphones are drained. Or even if they're not, they last what? Four hours? That's downright pathetic. Well, now you can have options with today's sponsor, Raycon. The affordable backup that makes it so you don't have to be suffering through the never-ending void of darkness that are the thoughts in your head. And I'd rather listen to anything than having to hear all of those innocent screams. Also, it has USB-C and wireless charging, so you can just throw it on there. It'll be charged for whenever you're trying to get up and go. So, go pick up a pair of Raycon everyday earbuds. Go to buyraycon.com sonic for 20% off and free shipping, so a pretty significant discount. These are great backups for whenever your daily drivers are out of commission, or they're just good if the higher-end ones are out of your budget. Again, that's buyraycon.com sonic for 20% off and free shipping. Thank you to Raycon for helping this recent increased video output, and everyone who checks it out is supporting me, so it means a lot. Now, let's get cracking on this new info. Now, I'm not going to go into the background of crypto and stuff like that, because most of you either probably get the basic premise or simply don't care, which is totally fair. So, the world's shortest explanation is you put your money in a <coughs> coin, and there's a 0.2% chance you make any profit and a 98.8% chance you lose it all. Love it or hate it, I'm spitting facts here. And as we'll cover in depth towards the end after the scam was pulled off, if you are dumb enough to buy one of these, at least be smart enough to know you will likely lose anything you put in. So don't put in any money that you cannot afford to lose. But how this project with an anonymous creator and no big backing rug pulled so much more money than all the other <coughs> coins is what makes this scam so interesting. So the creator of this project we'll be referring to as Teddy for now, and of course, more info on him later. Now, just like any meme coin such as Doge or any of the billion less successful knockoffs, this project started off the back of another project, one inspired directly by Doge called Shiba. I know, how creative. This and another smaller project named Saitama were both projects the Tails coin creator, Teddy, was apparently involved in. However, with this new endeavor, Tails, the premise of the project was to create a new dumb little meme currency like many others, but with this one having the free marketing of being associated and based on a huge franchise and even a popular character from that franchise. A brand that, keep in mind, was also in the process of increasing and growing. Remember, this was around the marketing for Sonic Movie 2, so this might 
might have even been the peak of popularity with the Sonic brand. In fact, the hype was so significant that Teddy even tried branding his token to make it seem like they're officially associated with Sega, who at the time had just announced and now to this day cancelled, plans for an official token and NFT launch of their own, which NFTs are another market that went... However, the more I dive into this, the sleazier and weirder it gets. Now, just for clarity, the project's official name is Tails Token, or just Tails with a dollar sign before it. However, I'm most of the time probably going to call it Tails Coin a lot, because frankly, it just rolls off the tongue and sounds way better, and I don't want to get it too confused with the character itself. So, with that baseline, Teddy had successfully utilized the Hypersonic movie too, as well as the double-digit IQs of the <laughs> coin investors, to the point where Tails was growing to be a pretty real appearing thing, even scoring pretty high on the ranking of values with these coins, and it was steadily increasing more and more every single day. And with Tails having a verifiable code that guaranteed token liquidity locked for a hundred years, that meant it essentially couldn't be mass sold for a hundred years, making all the dummies go, how could this not be a good deal? To which, spoiler alert, it wasn't a very good deal. People were seemingly ignorant of all the red flags and were feeling very safe and trustworthy, despite the lack of personality or any real human face behind the operation. So from the outside looking into it, as long as you don't know anything about these contracts or crypto, this project right. appeared as legitimate as they come. And to these people, you'd be dumb not to get it. Which, with all the flashy marketing, I can't even blame them. The entire thing was branded like a Mr. Beast video, and even the official Tails website itself said every token you bought would come with, quote, rewards. Which were, could you guess, more Tails token. They even had a promise of a Tails NFT, uh, I'm sorry, I gagged for a second, that in the future could only be acquired with Tails token. All you had to do was stake, meaning quote, lock up your Tails token for a period of time, which normally might not be a huge red flag, but you have to trust the creator a lot with that, which in this case was Teddy, someone that very clearly should not be trusted. Now, I'll read this excerpt from their plan strategy they put out, and it turns to brain rot really quickly. In fact, a lot of these words don't even make sense, and are just buzzwords thrown together. So it says, staking earns you points that can be used to mint the rarest NFTs in our collection, that are used in the metaverse to fight and earn a basket of cryptocurrencies, not only are they gamified, but also artwork created by famous graffiti artists, these NFTs can then be sold on our secondary NFT marketplace. Now, to quickly break that down to the ground, none of those things ever happened or existed. There was no NFT, no game based around it, and no famous graffiti artists involved. In fact, there were no artists of any kind involved with this project. Every single thing posted has either been a stolen 3D render, whether official or fan-made, and any of the hand-drawn art is literally just Yuakawa era Adventure Tales art. It blows my mind that anyone thought this was real. However, as the success continued to grow, new purchasers entering their ecosystem began to slow down significantly. They'd gotten over 2,000 individual holders at this point, and Teddy was desperate to find a way to get a spike in interest again. Now, even for something obscure, a 1,000 holders would be a huge, massive deal. So, the fact that this had double that and showed no signs of stopping was only intriguing their little niche community and making this actually a massive token. To be completely honest, if Teddy was a more honest and genuine man, this could have been the story of, rather than a scam, a surprisingly successful meme coin, which sure, while not giving any benefit to the world, would still be better than scamming millions of dollars. Regardless, Teddy's appetite was insatiable and he needed even more growth. He tried doing paid competitions for Tails memes with up to $1,500 each, an amount that I bet he totally paid out on and would never scam with. But alas, his competition barely got anyone's attention. And besides, most of these crypto bros have the least funny memes you've ever seen. Like, I'm trying not to hate on you guys. But 99% of them are just a movie scene with text or a Wojak pasted over someone's face, often without any motion tracking. Like, the scene's moving and there's just a still image there. Like, it's pretty shameful. Regardless of that, Tails token was beginning to plateau and stagnate. But despite that, the token was still gaining more and more suckers. I, I mean, holders, day by day. And it was at this point where Teddy was in two deep. He had to find a way to milk this cow as much as humanly possible. And what do you do when the cow isn't giving you the amount of milk it used to? You get another one. And that's exactly what he did. Now, to give a perspective of time where we are now, Sonic Movie 2 had just released a poster with Knuckles' glove, confirming he was 
is going to have a big inclusion with the second movie. And with the hype of that circulating, Teddy made a tweet announcing, Welcome to the ecosystem, Knuckles. Now we market Tails and Knuckles, at Knuckles token, together. Huddle both for rewards. Tails and Knuckles equals sheep and leash. And that last part is just a reference to a more popular crypto token. And Hoddle is their dumb way of saying hold. I don't really get it. It's not even shorter. It's just a letter rearranged. Again, you have to be on insane copium to see any of this and think, wow, how cool and edgy. I want to be a part of that. Regardless, Knuckles was born and was able to grow past 500 holders, meaning yes, that's another 500 suckers to add to the pile. Now, we can't see the peak amount of holders, but we do know that Tails grew to a minimum of 3,600 individual people since that is currently the archived amount on a website called Etherscan. And since the rug has been pulled, most of these people have already sold their shares, meaning there was likely around seven to 8,000 holders, all with a combined worth of, you already guessed it, over $24 million. Enough money to retire and be set for multiple lifetimes. Like that's a real generational wealth. But if any of you have heard any stories of greed or gambling, you'll know that there is no amount that's ever enough. No, the quote, Sega Game Alliance of Tokens doesn't end with Knuckles. Think about what else Sonic Movie 2 would come to introduce. Yes, if you're on the same mental wavelength as me, or you just remember from the intro of the video, you're already thinking of Super Sonic, or as that was already taken, what Teddy coined Gold Sonic, which sounds like a dumb name, but this is also what the official Gujitsu figure was called too. So I guess calling Super Sonic Gold Sonic even has some precedent with Sonic's history. Regardless, this was definitely the beginning of the end because the announcement of Gold Sonic was the last piece of media the Tails token account would ever post. And this is where the story takes a turn for the worst. So again, for perspective, Gold Sonic was announced on October 24th. And just three days later, on October 27th, Teddy tweeted from the Tails account, Big day tomorrow. Sleep well. Tails to the moon. And this would be his last tweet ever, is while he would eventually resurface later on other platforms, he technically wasn't lying when he said big day tomorrow. As suddenly, the contract that held this whole thing together was immediately changed, and yes, Teddy Rugg pulled the entire thing, selling everything and making off with essentially all of the money. This is the turning point in the story, as suddenly the house of cards has been pulled and is now scattered all over the ground. And even within their niche community, this was like 15 insert tragedies here. Now, I'll explain in the quickest and simplest way possible how Teddy pulled off this scheme to such a degree larger than all the other <laughs> coins. So Teddy, the token's creator, kept pumping up their token and going, yeah, see, there's no way I could possibly rig this. 100% rug proof, see? But to even give this project any attention at all, he completely falsified who he was by teasing and spreading hints of other projects he was allegedly involved in. And when people, after seeing these hints, asked him about these other projects, he just goes, Many have reached out and several realize Tails' connections to other projects. I'm not in a place to confirm these rumors just yet, but I will tell you this. I am from a project that 90% of people have bought or have in their wallet and 100% have heard of it. One billion dollar market cap is programmed. To which even after it being rug pulled, you can still see people replying to this older tweet with stuff like, Can you make some new tweets? This way I can retweet. And Tails' great early project for an early investor. And those are post rug pull. So the copium levels are high enough for me to get a second hand high from just reading these. One factor that's downright hilarious is the crypto bros thinking people tweeting about Sonic games or Sonic movie were actually talking about their token. And Teddy was taking advantage of this factor to make it seem more booming and relevant than it really was. Here's a tweet that reads, Tails token, 680 tweets in the last hour. We are gaining attention. Spread the word. Which, what? So since these announcements were coming out around news and trailers for Sonic Movie 2, people actually thought all the tweets trending talking about Tails wasn't talking about the fictional fox, but were all people talking about their <laughs> coin, which is based on the fictional fox. I know, Brain Dead doesn't even begin to describe it. I honestly think a lot of the buyers of this token don't even know Tails is a Sonic character or who that funky two-tailed fox is at the top of their Reddit. And some of these people have put in so much money into this project, it, it hurts to see. I wish all crypto transactions were weren't public because the pain I see people just casually dropping over $10,000 on this, it's just, oh, my heart, it, oh, oh. So after the tweet saying tomorrow would be a big day was made, for a brief time, there was only silence. The Copium Bros briefly tried to rebuild the Tails token. And honestly, peace and love to all these people. No hate at all. I feel like I am being kind of mean though. But seriously, these are some of the most delusional posts I've ever seen. In fact, here's a couple 
level that made me chuckle a bit. Miss the Shiba and Saitama pump. Tails is the next big thing for all the Shiba and Saitama holders. We're still under 10 million market cap as of today. And the developer of Tails is the same co-developer of the Shiba coin. 100% liquidity lock for 100 years, meaning zero chance of a rug pull for 100 years. Boy, that turned out to not be true. Strong community, great tokenomics, one of the best in NFT coins, great potential to reach a billion market cap from its current market cap under 10 million. Don't miss the pump, this once in a lifetime opportunity. And almost every single thing in this post from their history on projects, which turned out to be a complete lie, and Teddy actually had zero association with these projects, to the liquidity being locked, which was also a lie that he reverted last minute. In fact, the only thing about to pump in this community is gonna be Kurt Cobain styled, if you know what I mean. Now, to give some credit, there were a couple functioning minds who were skeptical of all these very clear red flags, but what's hilarious is any of their very valid critiques are just met with anger from all the hypnotized tail owners. Just look at the website and white paper. It's a rug pull. Prove me wrong. LaMeo, not a rug pull, just not a great project. Yet anyways, written with lies from the beginning, but it doesn't mean the dev can't pull together to make a good project now that they have capital. So even the guy defending it is like, well, sure, the creator is a total liar, but no way he would scam us. Like imagine finding out the guy doing surgery on you, studied to be a lawyer, but you go, well, that doesn't mean he can't be a good surgeon since he now has the money to learn. Oh, this is insane. He led people to believe he was a dev at Shiba, but really he did some marketing stuff. He's not a developer. Seems like he has some ideas, so we'll see. So wait, you're acknowledging he's not even a developer, but just a marketer? Are you insane? The stuff people just throw their money away on here is, it's ludicrous. The worst part is there's so many of these people out here. You think that tanking markets and oversaturation would make people less likely to blow their savings on these random projects with massive red flags. Like this is a line of anonymously created Sonic the Hedgehog based currencies that are pretending to be associated with Sega, but are on a website a high schooler in web design would make. In fact, you don't even need web design. I'm pretty sure most of you can make this website. Here's one of my favorite interactions, the actually level headed mind tried to reason with the money burner, but there was no such reasoning. They write, 10% of all transactions go to his wallet. He is the whale that keeps dumping. You are the sheep that keep buying into the pump. Hold long enough and you'll be the only one because he isn't going to keep holding this token. To which someone replies, this token's already up 77% from yesterday, but it's still cheap. Going to make a lot of people rich if they get in early, which more like get out early. However, looking more into this user's account as I told you I was doing research, I actually think this is a fake user. It either someone on board the team themselves or hired by the team. And this is not a one-off case. In fact, not all of them are, but a good handful of all the accounts on their subreddit are trying to hype up this and only post about Tails and how everyone needs to get on. It's the best and Tails is going to the moon. When in reality, Tails went to the exact same place as the Challenger. And you might think this is where the story ends, but in actuality, it just takes us to current day. Since then, it's only gotten so much worse to the point where anyone who's not an NPC bot has turned their back on Teddy, their once worshiped creator. And I mean, it took them long enough. It was so clearly a scam that if you look at all the top recent posts, it's just victims hating on the creator of the project, Teddy. In in fact, the Reddit has since been locked as it transformed into a witch hunt to find and track down Teddy. Now, I do want to mention there was a small batch of people that did make money on Tails, but that's just because they were smart and quick enough to sell before everyone found out it was a scam and decided to not be one of the dummies who huddle forever, diamond hands, this worthless currency will totally not be worthless. But what about the creator? And towards the end of my investigation, he came back with a brand new token. And I found this out from a Reddit post called Teddy is back with a new coin. What a joke. And Ted even brags and goes into how Tails hit a $24 million market cap and how the other ones went over a few million dollars. But in his words, there was sell pressure due to bots. Yeah, right. His new one is called Saitamurai, the Saitama Samurai. I, I promise I'm not making that up. That's that's really the name. And looking at this thread, it's insane the stuff I'm seeing. Lost over $10,000 with these idiots. No thanks. Wait, what? Maybe it's because I'm a brokey, but 10,000 is a lot of money. Maybe to Mr. Beast, it's like going out to lunch, but I promise if you invest $10,000 in me, actually, I don't, pro I was going to say you get the money back, but I can't promise that. I don't, I don't know about that. Also, 
Also, yes, as one of the comments points out, he's blaming the failure of Tails on bots. So Teddy's blaming bots for the Tails ecosystem failure? Even if that were the case, surely any fool can see that he was in charge at the time. Unfreaking believable. Which, to be honest, isn't it kind of unbelievable you guys fell for this in the first place? Also, in these comments, people are just pleading for the scammer to throw them some crumbs. But can someone ask him please to get Tails back to life? Or just give the keys to the community? Tails still has so much potential with the movies, etc. coming. And guys, if Teddy ever comes back, he's not gonna come back out of the kindness of his heart, but he's gonna be back with a new way to screw you over again. In fact, from my research, there's this one dude I've seen on almost every thread, and I think he's the king of delusional. He keeps saying, this will come back. Which, I mentioned because I wanna make it clear. This is the end of the story. Tails is not coming back. It's like Josse Onfroy. He's gone, we have to move on, okay? Okay, he's not coming back. However, while Tails may not come back, surprisingly, Knuckles did. This one's not even that long ago, but even in recent months, it's gotten zero traction. But either Teddy or someone he sold it to is trying their hardest to revive the Knuckles token, likely to try and gain momentum off of the Knuckles series. But just like everything, has gone silent or been locked down. So was there legal action for the guy who went by Teddy? Nobody knows for certain. And with how only now consequences are coming to those who pulled these scams years ago, the attention from this and my decently large audience will hopefully change that and open the eyes of the feds who I know are watching my every move. Come on, guys. Come out. And I do wish I had better answers for this, but the fact that he got so much out of just Tails alone, nonetheless Knuckles and Gold Sonic, with time, even if he did get away with it temporarily, will catch up to him. And with an amount of money that crazy, I actually wouldn't be shocked if he already fled the country for that exact reason. I'm personally aware of people who fled for far less than that, so I'd believe it. This was a different video, but something I've been sitting on and researching for quite a long time now. So, I hope you liked it, and drop a like if you did. You know, it helps me. Also, double check you're subscribed to the holiest source of Sonic news, and I'll see you in a couple days for another video. Lots of love, peace, and bye-bye. Bye-bye!